Tarzan and the Diamond of Asher. French African port of Loango, Tarzan and Darno meet the father and sister of the lost archaeologist Brian Gregory, for whom Tarzan is mistaken by Atan Tom and his mysterious woman companion, Magra. Tarzan takes charge of the Gregory expedition, organized to search for young Brian Gregory. Tom, believing Tarzan to have in his possession a map showing the location of the forbidden city of Asher, manages to bribe Wolf, one of the Gregory guides and hunters, who, with the help of Magra, is ordered by Tom to secure the map and deliver it to him. As the scene opens, we find the Gregory party aboard the little river steamer, which will carry them up the Congo to Bonga, where the trek into the jungle is to begin. Well, Darno, I'm sorry you're not going with us. I'll miss you. Why, I thought Lieutenant Darno was going. He told me this morning he'd arranged his plan so he could go. Yes, uh, vous voyez, Tarzan. While Mademoiselle Gregory and I were shopping this morning, I cabled Paris for three months' leave, and so I am going with you. Well, well, Lieutenant, that's a pleasant surprise. Daughter and I will be mighty glad to have you. But the lights, the music, the boulevards of Paris, Darno. Yesterday you were almost in a hurry to leave Africa. That, mon cher ami, was yesterday. And besides, when I leave for France, it may be a very long time before I see you again. If we, alors, if you do not talk yet, I shall go with you. I am glad, Arno. Miss Gregory is a very charming young lady, isn't she? Oui, ma vieille bron. Elle est magnifique. Our equipment and supplies been loaded. All right, Larson. Where is Wolf? He's up forward. He just came out. Then as our traps were the last to be loaded, I suppose we'll be leaving soon. Now they are preparing to cast off now, Monsieur Gregory. <laughs> Thanks to Larson, everything is in good order. Uh, I would have been aboard sooner, but uh, I had some personal business to take care of. Well, any orders? No, not now. You'll have enough to do when we're on safari. Well, they'll be in my cabin if you want. Larson and I are talking together. Uh, Mr. Tarzan. I don't like that man, Dad. Wolf? What's the matter with him? Something about his eyes, I guess. They're too... too curious. They seem to be probing, searching for something all the time. Did you notice how he emphasized Tarzan's name twice? <laughs> Up to your old tricks, eh, daughter? Letting your imagination get the better of you? Wolf's all right. He wouldn't be here if he wasn't. How about it, Tarzan? He's all right. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Only he spoke your name as though he doubted its authenticity. I didn't notice. I've never seen him before, and he doesn't know me. Forget it, Helen. The man's bound to be all right, or Mitchell would not have hired him. When do we get to Bunga, Tarzan? Tomorrow, before noon. If, as Mitchell said, his arrangements have been completed and the bearers are waiting, we'll camp in the jungle tomorrow night. We do not spend the night in Bonga, then, eh? No reason for it. We want to get underway as soon as possible. That's your idea, isn't it, Gregory? Yes, I want to get started on the search for Brian as quickly as I can. You men can sit up and talk as long as you like, but I'm turning in. It's late, and I'm very tired. Good idea, daughter. I think I'll follow your example. Good night, Tarzan. Good night, Gregory. Lieutenant Darno. Good night, Good night. Pardon, Miss Gregory. Yes. Will you step into my cabin one moment, please? Why? Please come in only for a moment. I wish to speak with you about your expedition. Our expedition? Why, yes, I'll come. 
What about the expedition? You are going into the Belgian Congo, are you not? To the region of Tuenbaka? You know of Tuenbaka, the mountain of sunrise? A year ago, I traveled in that region on safari. I was unable to finish my mission there, and I'm returning now. Oh, not alone? Yes. But when I learned from Mr. Mitchell that you are going to the same region, I thought it would be so much better to travel with a large party and in the company of another woman. Oh, of course. It must be rather trying for a woman to undertake such a trip alone. I understand. You'd like to join our party? If I could. Oh, I'm so happy that you do understand. And I'm sure I will cause you no inconvenience. I am accustomed to travel in the jungle. You see... I had intended to organize my own little safari in Bonga, but now... Oh, there's no need for that now. I'll speak to Father and Tarzan. I'm sure it can be arranged. Tarzan? He's taking charge of our expedition. But your name, I, I'm afraid I didn't catch it. My name is Magra. Magra? Magra, why? Why, Tarzan mentioned that name at dinner last night. Yes? He asked if my brother had ever mentioned your name in any of his letters to us. And did he? No, but... But I gathered that Tarzan seemed to think you knew him. Oh, tell me, Miss Margaret, did you know Brian? Yes, I did. He disappeared from the expedition of which we were both members. And he has never been heard of since. That was a year ago, no? Exactly. And that's just why we're going into the Belgian Congo now, to look for him. So, you are going to search for Brian Gregory. Yes, and since you knew him, it would be awfully nice having a friend of his with us. I'll go now and speak to Tarzan, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night, Miss Krieger. <laughs> Who is it? Who? Open the door. He said that he would have a woman aboard from whom I should take orders. Well, there's only two women here. You must be the one that he meant. And did the Atan tell you to come to me? <laughs> He said that you would make yourself known by the word Akish. But that is not necessary now. I know that you are the one. So, uh, what about the map? I do not know where it is. Ach, but I do. And I've seen it. You... you have seen it? Yeah, just a glimpse. Uh, when I went to the hotel this afternoon to get some information from this so-called Tarzan, uh, he was looking at it with the girl and her father. Then Tarzan has it? Nein, nein, the girl... He gave it back to her. Now listen, our job is to get that map. I'll play along with you and help all I can. If you can get it, sing out. Then leave it to Wolf. I think maybe I can handle this job better than you. Mm, you will leave that to my judgment. Remember, you are taking orders from me. All right, all right. Have it your way. Work on the girl. She's got the map. And if you fail, then my way, huh? Now I'm going. When you want me, give me a sign. When I want your help, I will let you know. <laughs> kind of a little spitfire, huh? Well, I, I like him that way. Uh, you're a fine little trick. And I see that we're going to get on well together. After you know old Herman Wolf, huh? <laughs> Good night. Hello, Dutchie. Where you been all evening? Oh, just looking around, sweet. Getting acquainted with our party. What been the matter with you? You act nervous, walking up and down. Go to bed like me. Ah, I don't like the smell of things, Larson. Hmm? This, uh, this trek we are on, too much secrecy. Hmm? And this fella Tarzan, he gets the job I am hired for. Why? He been a... Good, a fine fellow. Ah, yeah, maybe. But I don't make him a good jungle man. No, sweet. I don't like the setup. I want to know more about where we are going. And why? We know where and why. We go to the upper Congo to look for Mr. Gregory's boy. <laughs> to look for Gregory's boy? <laughs> das is good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Well, suppose, Larson, that Gregory's boy is on this boat. Hmm? On this boat? I don't understand. Press that boat over your head. Yeah. Now, suppose young Gregory is here. 
Suppose he has a treasure map. Suppose I know where that map is. Yes, sir. Suppose all that. What next do I suppose? Suppose you and I had that map. Mm -hmm. Just between us. Mm -hmm. Now listen. That paper is important in for these people to outfit a big safari. Hmm? And to keep their real purpose under cover. Yes, sure, Dutchie. What do you think been their real idea in going up into the Congo? Oh, mein God, you blockhead. Shall I draw a picture of it? It must be treasure. Thousands of pounds. Hmm? Ooh, maybe hundreds of thousands. And hours for the taking. What do you say? A treasure hunt, huh? And they ain't been going to look for the old man's boy. Hmm, that been interesting, Wolf. Yeah, and he is something else interesting. Tarzan is old man Gregory's son. On the stern of the little river steamer, Tarzan and Dono are listening to Helen Gregory's report of her conversation with Magra. Well, she claims to have been on safari before and accustomed to jungle travel. Mm, and, and so this young lady now wants to join our party. Why, mademoiselle? Oh, a logical reason, I believe, Lieutenant. She must realize that she'll be safer with a large party. Perhaps. Uh, did she say definitely where she is going? Well, she mentioned to Anbarka. But what interests me most is the fact that she knew Brian. Oh, she knows your brother? Yes, and under those circumstances, why not take her with us? I... I think maybe we should. But Tarzan, Magra, with us, the woman who... Yes, tried... Dono. I think it's a good idea to have her with us. She, uh, she'll be company for Miss Helen. Thank you, Tarzan. The fact that you also know her, or at least have met her, as you said last night, makes it more like a family party. And she's very beautiful, Lieutenant. So I have heard, Mademoiselle. Well, good night. I'll see you all at breakfast. Good night, Miss Gregory. So your friend Magra is aboard. Significant, is it not? And yet, you agree to allow an enemy to join our ranks? I'm not so sure she is my enemy. She tried to help me last night. After enticing you into the trap. That's true, but... Well, I'd rather have her here with us where I can watch her. And I'm going to bed. Are you coming? I shall finish my cigarette and follow you. Bonne nuit, Tarzan. Good night. L'enemy do not recomp, mon. The enemy in our camp, I... Lieutenant Dano. Pardon. Oh, Lasso, not in bed yet? No, I got something in my mind. Alors, what is it? Say, set home, Wolf. Ah, vous parlez français, eh? Uh, yeah, you're still at me. What about Wolf? Is there somebody in our party that has a map, a valuable map? A map? Where did you get that? Who told you anything about a map? That fellow, Wolf, he knows all about it. Nom de chien. Bien, come to the point. Well, just a little while ago, he come into our cabin and he tell me, Tarzan, ain't Tarzan. Wolf says that he been old man Gregory's son, the fellow we've been looking for, and he tells me about the treasure map Tarzan has. What? What was that? By him and he had been a piece of wood, and, and look, there been a piece of paper.